How to create dynamic gate charts in Salesforce dashboards. Navigate to the dashboards tab, create new dashboard. I'm going to call this customer service and lead dashboard and I'm going to hit create. I will add a widget. So we'll simply visualize a report inside this dashboard. That's how dashboards work. So we click on add widget, we click on chart or table. And over here, we need to choose any one of these reports to visualize inside of this dashboard. So I'm going to choose the lead report that I already have in my system. I will click select. This report basically shows all the leads grouped by states in my Salesforce. So I will move this into a gauge visualization, which is a gate chart right here. And I can see that the total revenue expected from all the leads is $1.3 billion. So the measure, which is this number that I'm seeing right now, is the annual revenue number from my lead report. So you can only use columns or fields from your report that are either numbers or currencies. So instead of annual revenue, I can also use the number of leads that I've converted or just the total number of leads that are in my reports. So the total number of leads in my report are 48. So let's say I just want to see how many leads I have in my system. If it's between 0 to 33, that means it should show me a red, meaning that's too few. If it's between 33 to 67, that should show me a yellow, meaning that it's a moderate number of leads. Ideally, I want it to be between 67 to 100, which would then point to green, which would be my ideal number of leads. We can change these numbers, of course. So I can make this between 33 to 45 should be green. And anything between 33 to 45 should be yellow. Anything greater than 45 should be green. That's how you can customize your gate chart. You can also add percentages if you'd like, but it's not very relevant for us in this case, at least. You can edit the title, which is lead report right now. You can add a subtitle, you can add a footer, and you can change the theme from light to dark if you need to. And then you can hit add. That's how you add a custom gauge chart in your dashboard. Thank you.